This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, but we're in kind of a weird spot with Standard right now. We have the full Dominaria spoiler, pre-release is this weekend, official release is next weekend, so instead of talking about boring old Standard decks, we're going to look at a sweet hypothetical Standard deck. So it hasn't posted any tournament results yet, because Dominaria is not legal in tournaments, but the deck is still super sweet, using some of the cool new cards from Dominaria area and this one is Bant Super Friends. It comes to us from Ali Trazi. So if you want to check out Ali's work, head over to GatheringMagic.com. He writes for Gathering Magic. He loves big mana ramp strategies. That's kind of his thing, value and ramping. And this Super Friends looks pretty sweet. So congrats to Ali on a super cool looking deck. A quick reminder before we break down Bant Super Friends for Dominaria Standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it main to videos take a minute click the like button the subscribe button leave a comment anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week so bad super friends is all about a new card from dominaria and that is oath of teferi the reason to be super friends in standard is this card so five mana legendary enchantment when it enters the battlefield you get to flicker something exile one of your things return it on the end step the big deal though is as long as long as Oath of Teferi is sitting on the battlefield, you get to activate your loyalty abilities on your Planeswalkers twice instead of once. So this lets us do some really crazy things, and to take advantage of Oath of Teferi, we have a ton of different Planeswalkers. So we're going to run through each and every one of the Planeswalkers one by one and talk about the sweet things they can do with Oath of Teferi. So we're going to go from cheapest up to most expensive, starting with Nissa Steward of Elements. So Nissa is not one of the most busted Planeswalkers with Oath of Teferi, you get to scry a bunch of times, maybe get some free value putting things into play. The sweet thing is, if you can cast Nissa with enough mana that it comes in with four loyalty counters, so let's say that would be six mana or more, you not only get to play Nissa for six mana, plus two to scry, then you can use the second activation to immediately ultimate. So turn five Oath of Teferi, turn six Nissa Steward of Elements is just two hasty 5-5 five, five flying elemental creatures tokens made out of your lands 10 damage out of nowhere for six mana so a really great and exciting way to close out the game and right on curve with oath of teferi our next planeswalker getting into the trials meh kind of like a meh planeswalker with oath of teferi not as exciting as nizza gideon you can like prevent a bunch of damage from creatures which is nice two different creatures or you can prevent damage and attack the emblem eh, you only want one of them but you can like prevent damage and emblem in the same turn so it's still sweet you can get a bunch of loyalty on your Gideon makes it a lot harder for your opponent to actually get Gideon off the battlefield and win through the emblem. Dovin Bond, kind of sweet with Oath of Teferi, doesn't ultimate super quick, still going to take a few turns, but another way to deal with creatures, the plus one to keep creatures from activating abilities makes it smaller, works really well with Gideon. If you can Gideon into Dovin Bond, it's kind of like this weird wrath where sure your opponent has creatures but they can't do anything, can also just draw a bunch of cards, gain some life. Then we have Karn Scion of Urza, which which can do a bunch of different things. Plus one and negative one give us a sweet card advantage engine. If we can activate them both on the same turn, Karn ends with the same amount of loyalty, so it'll still be a five loyalty, and we basically draw the top two cards of our deck, which is pretty powerful. A colorless draw two for four mana, and we can do that every single turn, so it's just draw two extra cards a turn, and if we don't want one of the cards, we can always just keep plusing and plusing. We can also just make a bunch of constructs. We can immediately negative two, negative two, two times with Elisa Teferi out, make a bunch of artifacts, to defend our Karn. Then we have Nissa Vital Force, which is just insta-ultimate. We 
play Nizza with Ulted Fairy out, we plus it once to turn a land into a creature until our next turn, then we can ultimate right away, which allows us to just draw a ton of cards, so much card advantage with the ultimate of Nissa. then we have Teferi himself, Teferi lets us draw a bunch of cards, can potentially disrupt our opponent a little bit, and then if we can ultimate, which is going to happen a little quicker with Ulted Teferi, still going to take a few turns, but if we get there, we just exile away all of our opponent's stuff as we draw cards. Finally, our last Planeswalker at the top end of our curve, more card advantage, a Johnny unyielding, just digging through our deck, finding other Planeswalkers, can also tick down a couple of times to Swords to Plowshare away creatures, and if we ever get to ultimate, which we can do in two turns with Oath of Teferi, so play a Johnny, plus two, plus two, up to eight, next turn, plus two, up to ten, ultimate, we get five loyalty counters on all of our other Planeswalkers, so it's like the ultimate ultimate, it ultimates all of our Planeswalkers when we ultimate a Johnny unyielding yielding, which is going to let us do crazy, crazy things. So, a great one of at the top of our curve. As far as our non-Planeswalker cards, Search for Ascanta, pull from tomorrow, keep us cycling through our deck. We've played Search for Ascanta Super Friends before. Really sweet digging through our deck to find Planeswalkers after it flips. For defense, Haze of Pollen keeps us alive in the early game while we're looking to draw our Settle the Wreckages, our Fumigates, to sweep away the board. Then we have a little bit of weird ramp. One Mox Amber, eh, a little bit slow because we're waiting for for our four mana, five mana legendary things, but can still be a little mana boost. Thematic Compass fixes our mana, makes sure we hit our land drops, flips around into a Maze of Ith. Heart of Curin is our one pseudo creature. We have no literal creatures in our main deck, so we fizzle all of our opponent's removal, but we do have Heart of Curin. Gonna be a good defensive 4-4 four, four flyer, can get in some damage, and we can always screw it up by removing loyalty counters from one of our million planeswalkers on the battlefield. Mana base wise, bunch of dual lands, even more dual lands, a few basic lands. In the sideboard, we got some creatures, which is pretty nice. Since we have no creatures in the main deck, we can bring these in after sideboarding. Our opponent probably moved out most of their removal. And then something like Lyra Dawnbringer, our new Baneslayer Angel, is a super fast clock to close out the game, gaining us a bunch of life. Salia, meh, is fine. It's a good way to protect our Planeswalkers from removal spells, since it gives it hexproof. If our opponent brings out their removal, gonna be hard for them to Lightning Strike or Veraska's Contempt away our Planeswalkers. One Kefnet, as long as we draw a bunch of cards, which we can do by activating our Planeswalkers multiple times with Ulfid Teferi. Gonna be a big indestructible creature. Otherwise, a ton of removal, cast out, seal away for targeted removal, couple more Wraths, including Urza's Ruinous Blast, which benefits from all of our Planeswalkers, Forsake the Worldly for artifacts and enchantments, Negate to counter things, Commit to Memory in case we just need to shuffle everything back into our deck so we don't mill out. Also kinda like a counter spell. And that is Bant Super Friends, featuring Oath of Teferi, Tons of Planeswalkers for Dominaria Standard, and that's been our instant deck deck for today, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below, and to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos, and if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.